Motorsport is famously not very cheap. It's quite a hard thing to get into, even if you're just trying to fund, you know, your, your son or daughter trying to go through the lower categories and karting it. The cost can run into the hundreds of thousands of pounds. But the FIA are doing something to help with this. They've announced a TC Lite technical rule set for accessible, low cost touring car racing. Now, for those who don't know touring cars, basically just hatchbacks racing around the track. The BTCC, the British Touring Car Championship, is an excellent watch if you've never watched it before. I believe it's on ITV4, it might be Channel 4 like these days, but yeah, I definitely recommend watching it. And this is a even low cost version, even more low cost version of that. So let me just read out this article here, which is on the motoringchronicle.com if you do want to check it out, of course. But yeah, the, the FIA has announced a new set of technical regulations for an accessible entry-level touring car class based on the existing in rally regulations. The new category labelled TC Light will comprise of two subclasses, TCL4 and TCL5, utilising the existing Rally 4 and Rally 5 regulations and therefore providing competitors with one car suitable for both rallying and circuit racing competitions. This will be possible through an additional appendix that will enable Rally 4 and Rally 5 car classes to be used in circuit racing with only minimal modifications while leaving the Rally homologation unchanged. TC Lite will therefore form the basis of the FIA Touring Car uh, Pyramid with the well-established TCR class developing, developed by the WC. SC group above it. So yeah, interesting stuff. It's going to allow people to actually compete in motorsport for a lot less money. Very positive stuff. Let's see what some of the people who are involved in this actually say. So Alan Gao, who's the FIA Touring Car Commission president, said, introducing a pyramid structure to touring car racing is something that has been our aim for quite a while. TCR is a proven customer racing platform that works well in both national level series and in world level touring car racing. However, we have been missing some accessible level entry level platforms. The introduction of the TC Lite rule set fills that gap, having the very same cars in rallying and touring car racing has plenty of benefits. It's cost effective, sustainable, provides the competitive with a level playing field and creates opportunities for more available seat time. At the same time, the manufacturers and their customer racing programs will be able to grow their business as a market, as the market of these cars will naturally broaden. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool to see. I mean, you know, I, I when I was younger and a lot more naive about the world, I wanted to have my own racing team as well. And I very quickly realized that that was impossible for some, someone with my fine financial background. You need a lot of money to get into it. I mean, obviously, you know, even just owning a car is expensive, let alone owning a car to race that you might well wreck and have to repair. And then you have to have staff and transport and hotel costs and you know racing fees and everything like that. It's expensive. It's really expensive. And that's even if you know how to actually get it done. You know, a lot of people would need someone to kind of help with that. But but yeah, like I said, there's a full article over on the motorinchronicle.com. I think it's positive. At the end of the day, it can't hurt to have something like this. I'm interested to see how it grows, how it expands, and kind of the future of the series overall. And you never know, you might get someone who is competing in something like this and then eventually they make it through to be a touring car team or an endurance racing team or something like that. You never know, strange things have happened. Humble beginnings and all that. But yeah, like I said guys, full article over on the motoringchronicle.com and for much more motorsport and motoring news, advice, tips, everything in between, keep it tuned right here to the motoringchronicle.com.